summertime, it's hot. We're all craving cold things like cold drinks and cold desserts. So today I'm going to share with you a cold dessert from Italy called Coviglia. And this is a frozen espresso mousse. And it's kind of like ice cream, but not. So this is a nice alternative if you enjoy your ice cream but want to try something different and mix it up a little bit. This is the perfect summer treat. So join me today as I share with you how to make this absolutely delicious Italian frozen espresso mousse as well as tell you about its history. So let's get started. For this espresso mousse, the first thing you'll need to do is brew some espresso. The least expensive way to do this is with a mocha pot, which is a stove top espresso maker. You pour water into the bottom, fill the filter with espresso grounds and pack them down. And then you place the filter into the water and then screw on the top chamber. And then put that over medium heat on the stove and eventually the hot water will bubble up through the coffee grounds and fill the top chamber with espresso. You're going to leave the lid shut for this. I just have it open to show you how the mocha pot works. After that, you're going to measure out a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of the espresso and then set that aside while you start working on the mousse. To begin the mousse, you'll need some kind of metal bowl because you'll eventually be putting this over a water bath. To your bowl, add 50 grams or a quarter cup of sugar and two egg yolks. Beat this on high for one to two minutes until it is a light pale yellow. Then drizzle in your quarter cup or 60 milliliters of warm, espresso and let the mixer run until the coffee is emulsified with the egg mixture. Now take your coffee egg mixture and place it over a pot of gently simmering water and using an electric mixer beat it until it is thick and creamy and has reached about 175 Fahrenheit or 79 Celsius. Covilia made its first appearance in the late 1600s. At the time, this semifredo, or half-frozen dessert, was served in small metal cups to help keep it frozen. Today, they are served in plastic cups of the same shape with a lid on top instead of the original metal kind. Covilia originated in Naples and became a popular treat amongst the Neapolitan nobles between the 18th and 19th centuries. Though towards the end of the 1800s, it was aimed towards everyday people in the Mergellina area of Naples, where it was often prepared for wedding banquets along with spumone, a lightened and molded gelato. Let's take a quick look back at the mousse. Once you've reached the right consistency and temperature, remove it from the heat and place it in the refrigerator to cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. Towards the end of the cooling time, you're going to start on the meringue. Add your two leftover egg whites to a medium-sized bowl with a pinch of salt, and then beat them until soft peaks form, and then add a quarter cup or 50 grams of sugar, a tablespoon at a time until stiff, glossy peaks form. You're probably going to be using the same beaters that you used for beating the espresso mixture. Make sure you wash them really well and dry them completely before making the meringue. If any fat or water is left on them, your meringue likely won't be a success as egg whites can be quite finicky. Set the finished meringue aside and add 180 milliliters or three quarters of a cup of heavy cream to a separate medium sized bowl and beat the cream until stiff peaks form. Once they've formed and your espresso mixture has sufficiently cooled, gently fold it into the whipped cream, careful not to deflate it. Covilia is from a class of desserts called semifredo, which means half cold or half frozen. Even though these desserts are technically frozen, their name refers to their soft nature despite being frozen. Covilia comes from Southern Italy, but another northern example of a semifredo is the zucotto, which is a frozen dessert made with the liqueur al kermes along with cake and ice cream. 
After discovering that dessert, I think I might need to make that one for the channel. Let me know below if that's a video that interests you. Let's take another look back at the mousse. Once that's fully incorporated, spoon your meringue into the espresso cream and fold it into the mixture in the same way. If you're enjoying this video and have learned something so far, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I make weekly videos featuring a European recipe from a different country each week, and I usually share the recipe with a side of history and culture along with it. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can stick around for more videos each week. Once your mousse is fully mixed together with no more white streaks from the egg whites left, you're going to spoon it into individual serving dishes. Set small serving bowls on a baking sheet. I set out five because that's how many are in my family, but you can make however many servings you'd like. Break the lady fingers so that they line the bottom of the dishes and then pour over some kind of soaking liquid to soften them. Some kind of liqueur is traditional, but if you don't want to use alcohol, you could use leftover espresso. I'm using Frangelico here, which is an Italian hazelnut liqueur. I used a teaspoon for each bowl. Then spoon the espresso mousse over the lady fingers. To make five servings, I used two ice cream scoops, which is about four tablespoons for each scoop. Then just flatten the tops and I garnished mine with some espresso beans. And then I topped each one with plastic wrap and placed them in the freezer for two hours before enjoying. And you can take these out of the freezer about five to 10 minutes before eating just to allow them to soften a little bit before you spoon into them. I cannot wait to try this. It looks so good. It looked amazing while I was making it and the consistency looks so interesting. So let's give this a try. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. It's so creamy. It kind of has the consistency of ice cream, but it's a lot airier. Um, divine you have to make this <laughs> and the lady fingers on the bottom soaked in liqueur I soaked mine in frangelico which is a hazelnut liqueur absolutely a perfect addition so definitely recommend putting it on top of something like lady fingers if you're only going to choose one summer dessert from my channel to make I recommend this one that's how good this is and the coffee flavor in it is excellent. It's not overpowering, just the perfect amount of coffee flavor. It's really not much. It's only a quarter cup of espresso for that whole um, six, five to six servings of Covilia. So perfect, absolutely perfect. I would love to try the other flavors this is usually made in. It's sometimes made in chocolate and also um, I believe hazelnut and strawberry. So highly recommend. If you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Kristen. I make videos every week sharing a different European recipe and the history and traditions that go along with it. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you want another Italian summer dessert, make sure to watch my watermelon tart video next after this video, and I will see you next time.